so next experiment uh, which we will be looking forward is uh, frequency shift keying so whenever we are considering frequency shift keying we have to uh, implement the logic what we had discussed in the previous case so now uh, here uh, this is the implementation of the fsk so now here uh, what we have to do is again we have to have a binary generator and then we should have the sine wave generator these two are uh, we'll assume that these two are the same carrier signal so just for simplicity purpose we have taken it on separate points so here uh, what we do is uh, we uh, uh, so in this case if it is logic 1 we send a high frequency carrier and if it is logic 0 we send a low frequency signal so now in this case uh, how do i uh, go ahead with uh, the implementation of fsk so again uh, as mentioned we will make use of Bernoulli binary generator which will be generating the binary data for us and uh, then we will have a switch so this switch will be giving me the fsk output the switch has to give me the fsk output so now uh, here based on what data is present uh, at this uh, switch that is the fsk output based on that either uh, it should be high frequency signal or it should be low frequency signal so again in this case it will be the sine wave what you will be applying so this result will be applied over here and the same parameters should be present over here so which will be given to the other end but there should be some slight change so here if you just observe what we have its amplitude is one and frequency is one so what i'll do is i'll uh, make it as four into pi let the frequency be four into pi and uh, what i'll do is sample time i'll make it as 0 0.01 since we had seen that uh, there will be a distortions which will be present if i increase the frequency so therefore you just make it as 0 0.01 so now I'll apply this. Now same thing has to be done to the other one. So amplitude one, but this one what I'll do is I'll consider its frequency to be lesser than that the other. So that is when uh, the data is one, high frequency signal of the carrier is sent. That is the frequency of the carrier is altered and sent. And uh, when it is logic zero, low frequency signal of the carrier is sent. So that is what I'm considering. And here it is 0 0.01. So other parameters I have retained and only the frequency parameter I have altered. So this is actually the carrier signal. Uh, I'll specify it as say high frequency. And the same thing. Uh, this one is the low frequency representation okay so these are the two aspects which are uh, present in fsk so now what i'll do is i'll take a scope i'll consider a scope uh, i'll increase its signal ports i'll make it three so to one port i'll connect <coughs> this binary uh, result that is generator output uh, next i'll uh, connect the sine wave i'll connect the sine wave i'll increase another one port i'll make it around four ports so at another point what i'll connect is i'll connect the other signal i'll connect the other carrier signal and uh, lastly i'll connect the result of the fsk output so this is uh, the fsk modulation what i am generating what i am considering so this is the binary generator based on whether it is greater than zero or not uh, if it is greater than zero high frequency of the carrier signal is sent and if it is less than zero if it is if this condition fails the lower frequency signal is sent so let me see whether this operates uh, so here all is scrambled so i'll just change the layout so now uh, i'll 
add in the uh, legends. So here I can observe that uh, this is the message signal. This is the message signal. Okay. So this is a message signal which is zeros and ones. And uh, this is the high frequency of the carrier signal what I'm considering. And this is the low frequency of the carrier signal what I'm considering. So here, uh, if you uh, just observe when it is zero, what I am doing is I am transmitting low frequency signal. So this is the same carrier signal whose frequency is reduced. So that is what we are transmitting over here. Again, it is zero. So again, you continue to transmit the low frequency signal. Now uh, it is logic one. So you have to alter the frequency, a uh, carrier, uh, carrier signals frequency. You have to increase it. So this is the signal what you will be transmitting. So from this point, again, the carrier signal frequency is increased. So that this is how you continue. So whenever it is one high frequency of the signal and whenever the carrier signal and whenever it is zero, low frequency of the carrier signal. So you are getting the result over here. So now once we have obtained the FSK result, now I try to demodulate it. So in order to demodulate it, what I do is I make use of the uh, phase uh, locked loop. So here, let me uh, just uh, try to uh, provide the uh, result over here. So in this case, we make use of the charge pump PLL. So if you want to just, just click it. So it uh, implements a charge pump phase locked loop using the digital phase detector. So, and it will be providing you overall three results. So here, uh, let us see. So some parameters are specified over here. Uh, so we have to actually alter these parameters. We have to alter these parameters in order to get the uh, result. So I'll, at present, I'll not alter the parameters and let us see what results we are getting. So we should connect the FSK output over here and this filter output, I I'll be connecting it to the scope. So I'll just uh, change the layout since another one uh, came in. So here, I'll run the program. I'll run the uh, simulation. So here you can see that some uh, output you're getting from that charge uh, pump uh, phase uh, filter output. So there are some changes what I have to do. Uh, what are the changes uh, you will be looking forward? So here you can uh, see that in the low pass filter numerator part. So whenever you have a filter response, right? How do you have? You have a numerator and a denominator and you specify those uh, parameters. So in this case, uh, what I'm doing is if you just observe with respect to this. Okay. So uh, for the uh, for this one, what is the value? It is two pi uh, into twelve. So this is high frequency what you are connected. So this is two into pi into four. That is, it is eight pi. So this is eight pi. Uh, that is two into pi into four, and this one is two into pi into twelve. So these two frequencies are provided. So here, if you just observe, uh, it should be lesser than the highest, uh, lesser than the lowest frequency. So here, this is around two into pi into four, which is around eight pi. Uh, so here, uh, if in the numerator, if you just observe, it is two pi into one, which is two pi, which is lesser than the frequency of this, uh, uh, this signal, what you are connecting. And uh, here, if you just observe in this case, you have only two parameters in the denominator. So that is one and two pi into two. So this is again uh, lesser than the two pi, this value that is two pi into four. So I have to adjust this parameter. 
so these two numerators and denominators there is one numerator what i am one numerator value what i am considering and two uh, denominator parameters what i am considering and uh, intensity if you want you can alter it you can make it 40 and the quiescent frequency you can make it around 10 okay so these four parameters you can alter so i'll uh, come back to my uh, program so here uh, what has happened so high frequency i had given as 4 pi over here and uh, low frequency was 2 pi uh, so if i want i can just alter this uh, what i'll do is uh, since uh, i can keep it as pi so let us see so what i'll do is uh, i'll just keep this value as pi i'll make it as 1 and 2 sorry i'll make this as 1 into pi that is the one numerator and uh, this one uh, instead of having four parameters i'll have two parameters one and uh, say i'll uh, make it as uh, one into pi itself so let us see if i keep it like this what happens so we see your intensity you can make it as that is hertz per voltage as four and uh, this one i can make it as 10. so if i don't alter it let us see what happens if I don't alter it, so only these two parameters I am altering. Okay. So let us see what happens. So we are getting some uh, result that is uh, phase locked information over here. Using this information, I should try to get back the original information. So here you can see some changes. So if I make some changes in this filter, uh, so here what I'll do is uh, instead of just 4 pi, what I'll do is I'll uh, make it as 8 pi. So I've increased this one and uh, this one I'll just make it as 4 pi. So that I can just alter the frequencies over here. So this one what I'll do is I'll make it as 2 pi. I'll alter this as 10 and I'll make this one say around 4. So when I make the changes, so I'm getting some results over here. So let me see uh, if I put a comparator and uh, check out whether I'll be able to get the result. So here what I'll do is I'll put a relational uh, operator over here. That is the relational uh, block. And uh, what I'll do is I'll compare this filter, this uh, phase lock loop output with a constant. I'll compare it with the constant. So in this case, what I'll do is I'll compare it with a constant of say zero. So and this I'll be connecting over here. Uh, this one, what I'll do is I'll compare it if whether it is less than zero or not. So and this result I'll be connecting to the next block. So if I just run it. Uh, so if you just observe, I am not able to get back the original information. I am not able to get back the original. Only the first part I am able to recover, but remaining it is difficult. So in order to do that, what you have to do is you have to alter these parameters. You have to alter these parameters. Okay. So try to alter these parameters and try to obtain the result. Still, it is not operating. Okay. Mm, I'll increase this one to 12 pi. Okay, and uh, this one I'll keep it around 8 pi. Okay. So, let us see whether it operates for this condition. Still, it is not operating. Mm. What I'll do is I'll keep this as two pi, and uh, so I'll make it as four pi. 
so you have to alter and uh, try to obtain the results sorry i think i executed the other one sorry i executed the other one so here are some changes i am able to see uh, so now what you have to do is you have to try to adjust and uh, check out whether you can make the appropriate corrections over here okay so you try to adjust these parameters you try to adjust the uh, parameters over here and try to obtain the uh, result getting for 4 pi nearly some value so you try to adjust these parameters and try to obtain the value so in uh, this case i am able to obtain that so here uh, what we have done is uh, we have kept it as 8 pi 8 pi in this case and then the other one uh, we have obtained it as a uh, 2 pi uh, into 12 that is it is around 24 pi what we have obtained and in this phase lock loop we have kept as 2 pi into 1 that is uh, 2 times pi and here 4 times pi so for these parameters, I was able to obtain the result. So this is actually the FS demodulated signal. This is the FSK modulated output. So I was able to get it for these parameters. So if I alter it in the same way, let us see. 2 pi into 12 if I take. So I'll just check out whether it is possible uh, to get the same result. Well, see, I have I have just in, uh, interchanged the high and low frequency. Mm, then this one we will keep it as two pi, which is nothing but four pi, and uh, this one uh, we have it as two. So let us see whether I'll be able to get it. Okay, for those values I am able to obtain. So you have to alter those parameters and try to obtain the result. Okay, so this is what I am getting. So in the given duration, if it is logic one, so I am getting over here, then one in the next this thing, then zero in the next part. So this is how I am able to obtain it. Okay.